information brokers. Personal information has been called the new oil as it has tremendous value to marketers and businesses. Businesses can use personal data to prevent fraud, identify and screen potential customers, analyze and predict customer behavior, better market their products and services, and tailor ads to the specific interests and wants of potential customers. In 2012, U.S. companies spent $2 billion on acquiring third-party data about individuals, and that amount is expected to more than double in the next five years. To meet this growing demand for personal information, a slew of so-called information or data brokers have sprung up. Data brokers are simply resellers of information, companies which collect personal information about individuals from a variety of public and non-public sources and then compile, package, and sell that information to others. Data brokers collect personal information such as individual purchasing histories, estimated salaries, property ownership, family size, leisure pursuits, race, gender, health concerns, online browsing history, employment and criminal background, hobbies and interests, and social networking activities. Data brokers are largely unregulated, and most consumers are unaware of the existence of data brokers and the role they play in advertising and commerce. Here are three of the larger data brokers in the U.S., none of which are household names. Axiom a company which maintains its own database on 190 million individuals and 126 million households in the United States, and also manages customer databases for major banks, automakers, and large retailers. Axiom operates more than 23,000 computer servers, which process more than 50 trillion data transactions a year. Its database contains over 500 million active consumers worldwide, with about 1,500 data points per person. Axiom has developed its own consumer classification system, which assigns consumers to one of 70 detailed socioeconomic clusters. eBureau which evaluates and scores consumers who make online purchases for eBureau's clients, such as credit card companies, lenders, insurers, and educational institutions. A consumer's eScore, the proprietary name for eBureau's product, goes far beyond a traditional credit score. It factors in non-financial as well as financial information and uses sophisticated algorithms to give a consumer a score, which a business can then use to predict whether that consumer will or will not be a profitable customer, will be an acceptable credit risk, or is someone worth spending more marketing dollars on. Intellius, which describes itself as, quote, an information commerce company which provides consumers and businesses with predictive intelligence for important everyday decisions, end of quote. Intellius offers dossiers and other people search services, comprehensive HR background checks, and identity theft protection. Data brokers are increasingly coming under the scrutiny of both Congress and the Federal Trade Commission as a result of a general lack of transparency in the industry. Government regulators are concerned not only about privacy, but also about businesses using the information from data brokers to score, profile, or segment consumers in order to discriminate or limit the kinds of financial, insurance, health, education, or other marketing offers certain consumers receive. For instance, the Wall Street Journal recently reported that travel site Orbitz is now differentiating its search returns on whether the consumer accesses their site from a Mac or a PC. Apparently, Mac users spend an average of 30% more per night for hotels than PC users. In March of 2012, the FTC issued a report calling for greater transparency in the industry and suggesting that data brokers create a centralized website 
where data brokers would identify themselves, describe how they collect and use consumer data, set forth what rights consumers have to access and correct errors in the data, and giving consumers an ability to opt out of their personal information being sold. In May of 2014, the FTC issued a lengthy report criticizing the data broker industry for its lack of transparency and the failure to provide consumers with meaningful choice regarding the collection and use of their personal data. The FTC concluded that, quote, little progress has been made to improve transparency and choice in the nearly two decades the FTC has been examining data brokers, end of quote. In 2015, the Data Broker Accountability and Transparency Act was introduced in Congress. The bill, if passed, would empower the FTC to regulate the data broker industry and allow consumers to prevent the use and sale of personal information and to correct information that is incorrect. The industry has responded that government regulation is not needed, will stifle innovation, and points to industry best practices such as the Direct Marketing Association's Guidelines for Ethical Business Practice as proof that self-regulation works. In our next lecture, we will look at a specific controversial proposal known as Do Not Track, which addresses the issue of data mining and the practice of targeted behavioral online advertising.